All right, day 136 on the Appalachian Trail. And I'm at Doc's, where's that sign? Doc's Knob Shelter. And this is a cool shelter. They have uh, benches and fire pit. It's really nice and clean. Someone left some food up there for people. Tuna stuff I don't eat. But it's well maintained, good privy. Lots of positive inspiration stuff around. Um, it rained <laughs> about four in the morning. The bottom fell out. So I am really glad that I walked. Um, I walked here yesterday instead of uh, stopping and getting a tent, putting up a tent. Slept good, kept hearing sounds, and I thought, are these mice? So I turned on my light, and there was a bat. <laughs> a bat was flying in the shelter, chasing bugs, which was good, because I didn't want any bugs. But it was so funny, I'd turn on the light, and shoo, here come that bat, he come flying in, and uh, grab something. I slept good anyway, I didn't care. Shelter was clean, I swept it out. Left it better than I found it. All right, so here we go on the Appalachian Trail. I have a late start today. It's 10 o'clock. I'm usually moving by 7.30, but uh, it was raining so hard. I said, I just wait for it to quit. And the, the uh, call today is for thunderstorms. But I don't know if that was what happened this morning or if it was to happen later today. So I'm gonna assume it's over. There's a privy, there's advertisements. All right, there's a little shelter up ahead called Wood, Wood, a hostel called Woods Hole, I believe. It's supposed to be famous. But there's a message that it's, uh, it's only a couple miles up the road. I, would, I thought about it, especially if it was gonna be pouring rain all day, maybe just going there and taking a Nero. But the uh, advertisement says they're closed. Uh, at least part of it's closed because we're doing renovation the month of August And it's the month of August So I don't know It's not raining now So we'll see My plan is to keep on going There's a shelter 10 miles or so and at 17 there's Trent's Grocery, which was where I'd like to go. You can go in there and put up your tent. They cook. They have showers and bathrooms. It's like $6. And uh, I could do... I don't know. I can do inventory and see if I need to resupply. But... Anyway, here we go. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm sporting my new pack. Z-Packs came through for me. It was waiting for me at Angel's Rest Hostel. Back in uh, Paresville, Parisburg, excuse me. Parisburg. And it was, uh, I put all the accessories back on this one. Feels good, it's tight. I think they may have redesigned the uh, um, belt. It looked wider than my old belt. Of course, my old belt may just have been worn out. I'm not sure. Some blazes. Trail goes up this way. All right, here we go. Day 136 on the Appalachian Trail. Let's see if I can pick it up. That bland, I mean that store, 
Trench Grocery closes at 8 tonight. And because I'm such a late start, that may be an issue. But if I had to choose between late start and that heavy rain, I'm just going to go with the late start. So I was tired. I did 23 something two days ago and got picked up at about 8 30 at night yesterday morning i got up in uh, pearsburg and got uh resupplied went to walmart washed all my clothes took a shower yes and uh didn't get underway to about 3 3 30 I think is when I actually stood on the trail and uh, still got in over nine miles on what normally for my <laughs> for what normally for me is a zero day I haven't taken a zero day since I started south I had one I had a couple I guess three Nero's but those days were big day, were okay days. Trying to keep my average up. All right, here we go. All right. I'm walking down the trail this morning. It's wet. I was able to get a signal. It's supposed to rain off and on most of the day. Wet rocks equals me going slower. So I made an executive decision a while ago. I consulted my guru chops. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I love this guy. He's uh, I told you a little bit about him. He's a through hiker, and uh, I call him if I have questions. He and a couple other guys, but I just kind of drag you today. I've been pushing it, trying to get the mileage up. And I had a late start this morning. It's rainy today. And there's this place called Woods Hole Hostel, which is only a mile or so up the street, up the road, <laughs> up the trail from where I am. Then you go on a road for half a mile or so. And I called them, and I think I'm going to take an easy day today and uh, rest my weary bones, try to get out of the the rain as much as I can and uh, let the rocks dry off and just uh, rest a little. Chops, my guru, was telling me that, um, and I've stayed at this, there's a shelter in Georgia called Woods Hole and it's actually named um, after these people because of the significance of this old old shelter or old hostel so anyway i'm looking forward to it and um, i'm just gonna rest get off my feet and uh i don't know what their internet's like i might try to um pop in uh yesterday in today's video but anyway the trail's pretty ferns and uh rocks fairly level if i do this which i'm which i'm going to do then tomorrow i'll pop out fairly early and i don't think i'm gonna do a big day again tomorrow i'm gonna do like 15 and uh, go over to trench grocery and spend the night there, put your tent up, and uh, let them cook dinner for me. And uh, I can take a shower and uh, do that. Then it'd be not, then I think I'm going to be in the, that'll put me more in the um, mode to kick it back up. I was looking at the train, the train's looking good for a while. I don't know how the uh, rocks situation is. I have a, a 
cousin of, of sorts. I'm not sure the exact relative, how we're related. Um, he's a good guy though, good hiker. And uh, he was doing this section earlier, maybe two or three weeks ago. And uh, he fell on rocks and uh, broke ribs and got a concussion. And uh, so I don't want to do that. And I can see how you could. Look at this. Woo. So he's recovering now. We might be able to get together later and do a few, few miles farther south once he's recovered. Oh, look, grass. I'm wearing my rain gear. So take that poison ivy. <laughs> Ticks. Um, yeah, I'm still work, working on that ticked off using napalm and chemicals, killing those things. I think that'd be a good idea. Oh, me. Well, I can tell I'm draggy. Y'all probably can too. That was a fun climb yesterday going up to Angel's Rest. It was, a, I don't know, a couple thousand feet maybe. Switchbacks. And you know, you've kind of learned when you get near the top, it'll be a little steeper. And, and it was. But I, I was so disappointed. I got up to the very top and I don't know. They're trash. There are a couple of people posing as through hikers up there. They were had little baby packs and a giant tent. And um, something didn't ring true, but I'm, I didn't care. I'm not challenging them. But they left a big old mess. And I just thought to myself, come on, man. Get that up. I left the trail, I left the shelter better than I found it. It was already good though. I mean, whoever maintains that shelter is top notch. And, um, but it was funny <laughs> turning on the light last night and uh, seeing bats flying around in the shelter. And uh, I got up about two o'clock and I stepped outside. When I turned on the light, out came the insects. And it was like fighter pilots. Man, they were ready. And as soon as those moths came out, bam, 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 those bats just took care of them. They were gone. So, go bats. I don't, I don't mind that. And, uh, I think that's cool. This is pretty. How that hangs upside down. All right, that's my ramblings for the day. Get down here, take off this rain gear. Wash these clothes, it's only warm one day, well, two days. And wash my sticky self and uh, enjoy life. So I'm enjoying the trail. The, uh, it's really a big adventure. You push yourself, you meet neat people, you see some really incredible things, and uh, it's really a challenge. And uh, it really makes me appreciate the people who have done it before me. And, and you know, if we're able to do it, there's a million ways to get hurt out here. There's a, especially early in the um, hiking, I can see how it'd be so easy to quit. Just one bad day and you're like, oh, heck with this. But uh, 
you know, they stuck with it. And so will I. I was looking, I got 600 and something more miles to go. I started figuring out averages and all that kind of stuff. But these are wet rocks. It's kind of cool seeing how far you go. You know, those big old maps that um, they usually hang in hostels. I've got one at the house. I'm going to frame it when I get done with this. National Geographic map of the whole trail. And I start looking back and see how far I've gone. It's a long trail. <laughs> but luckily, it's less than... Uh, I don't have... Uh, I've got less to do than I've done. Let's put it that way. All right, well, here we go. Day 136 on the Appalachian Trail. Walking down the trail. All right, I'm sitting on the porch here at Woods Hole Hostel. This is wonderful. Big porch. Hummingbirds everywhere. <laughs> nice garden. There are goats and pigs over there. This is just a wonderful place. Very relaxing. My body likes it. All right. All right, day 136. I'm here at the hostel, and that is rain you're hearing. It, the bottom's falling out. Oh, this guy right here, clockwork. I can't tell, see him. He and I hiked Katahdin on the same day, and he showed up a while ago. That's cool. I am glad I am on a porch right now. <laughs> The bottom is falling out here. They said thunderstorm warnings today, and I was pooped. I've had a nap. I'm drinking a Coca Cola. This lady brought me a block of cheese and bread for lunch that was amazing. Yeah, life's good. So I'm here at the hostel. I've got my goose. And I've got my three pigs. There's one of them. <laughs> the other two are in here. They're eating. There's some goats. <laughs> There's those pigs. <laughs> and goats. This is just cool. This is a neat hostel. Here's the bunkhouse down here. Looks like they're adding something here. Here's the bunkhouse. We have a commons area. Whew, it's raining. Here's the commons area. You climb these steps to go up to the uh, beds. Bunks here. They're doing work. Soft drinks and stuff. All very nice. 